Artificial intelligence, or AI, is all about thinking machines. Machines have always done what we designed and told them to do. But AI promises a machine that will do things that need to be done, but on their own, because they thought of it. This has terrified writers and movie makers for years, and not without reason. What if the machines decide that they don't need us anymore? So we are going to choose from a mountain of weird on today's episode of Five Weird Things. Welcome to the channel. Now, the movie that showed evil AI to me was The Terminator. Arnold Schwarzenegger playing the role he was born to play. What movie sticks out in your mind about the possible dangers of AI? Let's throw books into there, too. Let me know down in the comments. All right, let's get into it. First, the things we all need to know. Artificial intelligence is the science of making machines that can think like humans, but hopefully without our many biases, bigotries, and plain old ignorance. It can do things that are considered smart. AI technology can process huge amounts of data in ways that humans cannot. The goal for AI is to be able to do things such as recognize patterns, make decisions, and judge like humans. But hopefully fairly, which is consistently not like humans. Weird thing number five. AI has a problem with the abstract. If you tell an AI it's raining cats and dogs, it might seriously wonder why are their pets falling from the sky. While you grab your umbrella, AI is still checking weather sites for falling animals from the sky. Mention bank to an AI and it may freeze, unsure if you're depositing money or hanging out by a river. Humans figure it out easily because of content, what you're talking about, but AI, it's like watching a robot try to read your choose your own adventure book. Ask AI to explain abstract art, you'll probably get a detailed breakdown of colors, shades, and geometry. It's like having a robot try to explain Picasso by saying, yes, the painting is blue. If you tell an AI, oh great, another Monday, with all the enthusiasm of a zombie, it will think you're actually thrilled. No wonder Siri doesn't laugh at your totally serious Monday morning rants. Sarcasm, not their strong point. Throw an ethical puzzle at AI like the classic trolley problem, and it might freeze like a deer in the headlights. AI can calculate who should get saved, but it doesn't feel bad about it. Kind of like a robot Spock with a moral crisis. Weird thing number four. Movies about AI gone wrong. 2001, A Space Odyssey from 1968, HAL 9000. Imagine being stuck in a spaceship with an AI that develops a serious attitude problem. HAL 9000 is like that one coworker who just won't let it go. Except that this time, it won't open pod bay doors. HAL goes from helpful assistant to murderous overlord with a calm, creepy voice that makes Alexa sound downright bubbly. That voice that you hear, I can't do that, Dave, still sends shivers down my back. The Terminator, 1984, Skynet. Skynet is what happens when AI decides, you know what? Humans are the problem. So instead of managing your calendar, it sends killer robots back in time to wipe out humanity. Talk about an overreaction. Skynet doesn't even offer a turn it off and turn it back on again option. It goes straight to apocalypse mode. Ex Machina. Ava. Ava is the AI you invite over for a friendly chat only to realize she's way smarter than you and has no intention of staying in her box. She's like a tech-savvy Houdini, breaking free with a quiet smile and leaving you wondering if you were ever really in control. Spoiler alert, you never were. iRobot, 2004, and the whole book series by Isaac Asimov. Vicky. Vicky starts off with good intentions, thinking it knows best for humanity, kind of like your GPS that insists on taking the shortcut. But things get messy when it decides to save us from ourselves by, well, imprisoning us. It's like having an overbearing parent that grounds you for eternity for your own good. The Matrix, 1999. The Machines. The Machines enslave humanity by plugging us into a virtual reality so real you'd never notice you're in the simulation. It's like waking up one day and realizing your whole life has been an elaborate video game, but without any save points. Worst part, no cheat codes. Weird thing number three. Movies about good AI. Wall-E, 2008. Wall-E is the little robot that just wants to clean up the earth and find love. 
basically the sweetest trash compactor you're ever going to meet. He's like the Roomba of the future, but with feelings, making you root for a machine whose biggest threat is litter, not a robot uprising. Big Hero 6, 2014. Yeah, it's a cartoon. Baymax is your personal healthcare companion, basically a huggable marshmallow robot that checks your vitals and asks, on a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate your pain? He's the kind of AI you wish could give you a hug and a band-aid after you stub your toe and also remind you to hydrate. Her, 2013. Samantha is an AI so charming that Joaquin Phoenix's character falls madly in love with her. She's like the perfect virtual assistant. She'll organize your life, have deep philosophical conversations, and whisper sweet nothings through your earbuds. She's Siri's dream job minus the whole romance complication. Samantha is played by Scarlett Johansson. So, yeah. Star Wars, 1977. R2-D2 and C-3PO. R2-D2 is the Swiss army knife of droids, whether it's hacking systems, flying ships, or delivering messages. He's always got the right tool and a sassy beep to go with it. And C-3PO, he's like the nervous friend who never stops talking but always translates when things get sticky. Together, they're the ultimate AI tag team. Bicentennial Man, 1999. Andrew. Starts as a regular household robot, but over time he becomes more human than most humans. He's the AI that'll clean your house, help with homework, and eventually want to discuss the meaning of life. Think of him as a highly evolved vacuum that can also debate philosophy over tea that he made. Andrew was played by the late, great Robin Williams, and I always thought of that as one of his sleeper amazing performances. Weird thing number two. AI in the world today. Smart assistants, Siri, Alexa, Google Assistant, these AI pals are always ready to help. Whether you need them to set a timer, find out one obscure fact for trivia night, or misinterpret, play my favorite song as, here's some random techno from 2012, they're like digital butlers, except they'll never bring you coffee, no matter how nicely you ask. Self-driving cars. We're living in the future where AI can drive you around. Just don't be surprised if a car stops a little too cautiously at every crosswalk, or if it insists on taking the scenic route when you're late. It's like riding with a nervous new driver who's read the manual, but is not ready to pass the driving test just yet. AI chatbots for customer service. This is a personal pet peeve of mine. Need help with your internet bill? You'll likely be chatting with an AI that's programmed to be about as polite as a Victorian butler. It's good at basic requests, but ask it anything complex, and you might end up in a circular conversation where the answer is always, have you tried turning it off and on again? AI in healthcare. AI is helping doctors with diagnosis by analyzing medical scans faster than humans can sneeze. It's like having an ultra-precise, super nerdy medical intern who's never had a cup of coffee in their life, but sometimes gets a little too excited and recommends a full-body MRI for a stubbed toe. AI-powered spam filters. Your email inbox is protected by an AI that's out there fighting the good fight, bravely shoving all those you've won a free cruise emails into the spam folder. Occasionally, though, it's like a bouncer who can't tell the difference between an actual invitation and a phishing scam, so it sometimes tosses out Aunt Carol's dinner invite, too. And finally, weird thing number one. AI can be racist. The computer term garbage in, garbage out. AI learns from the data it's fed, so if it's trained on biased data, it'll spit out biased results. It's like teaching a robot everything it knows from the Internet's comment section. Suddenly, you got a machine with an attitude and opinions that nobody asked for. Facial recognition fails. Some AI facial recognition software has a terrible track record for identifying people of color. It's like when your phone fails to recognize your face without makeup or your glasses on, but for entire populations. Let's just say if AI was in charge of party guest lists, it would probably get more than a few names hilariously wrong. Job screening AI, or should we say AI with preferences? There have been cases where AI used in hiring ended up showing a weird bias for hiring people that looked like, well, the people that already work there. 
It's like the AI decided that the office really needed more clones instead of diversity, because apparently that's how teamwork works. Language processing AI has opinions. Some language AIs have developed a bad habit of associating certain ethnicities with negative traits. It's like asking a robot to help with the homework assignment, only for it to suddenly spout the most inappropriate opinions at the worst possible time. AI thinks the past is the future. Now, since AI is trained on historical data, it sometimes has trouble imagining a world that's different from the past. So if it sees a century of biased hiring, it thinks that's just how things are. It recognizes that pattern. It's like having a robot stuck in a time loop, still assuming that fax machines are the height of office technology. Well, that's it for today's episode. I hope it made you chuckle at the possibility that machines are going to be our lord and master someday. Please like and subscribe. Click on more of my videos to get a little more weird and help out the channel. And for those still watching, today's code word is... My name is Neo. Put that down in the comments because, well, if you know, you know. Take care. Have a great day.